Good morning guys, today I'm going to be taking you to a city that I ended up in completely by accident and ended up loving and that would be the sacred city of Pushkar. <laughs> Amazing views along the way. Okay, we have gotten to our hotel in Pushkar. It's funny because Pushkar, we actually wanted to skip, but we ended up just coming here anyway, just to stay quickly for one night and thinking, you know, just use the time to work or something, but actually driving in, I really feel this kind of vibe from it and I'm really liking it, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Look at this view. We ended up here just because our driver uh, thought we wanted to go here and took us here, and then it's like, oh, well, we're here. You know, <laughs> he has a mind of his own, like he's just like... I don't know how much English he speaks because sometimes we tell him like, hey, we don't want to go to the push car, we want to skip it, and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 and then he and keeps then going. <laughs> and you're like, dude, I, I thought... Very funny, because you don't, you don't, you know, you think you have control over your trip, but I think in India, this just doesn't happen. That's true. You just true. have to like, accept that things are going to be very, very different from what you plan. In this case, it's yeah. worked out for the best because I love... Push car. Okay, hold on. The guy's walking behind you with the broom. Hold on. <laughs> Can you do it again? We have gotten up early and come down to the lake area. This lake is considered very sacred. Pushkar is actually one of the oldest cities in all of India. There are a lot of people throwing flowers in the lake, bathing in the lake, and uh, it's just so, so amazing to see. And then all these birds flying everywhere, everyone dressed so colorfully. Legend has it that the god Brahma dropped a lotus flower and that turned into the lake. It is a very holy site for pilgrimages and a lot of devout Hindus believe that you should visit Pushkar at least once in your lifetime. Started to fall and where were you? How could I know you were falling to grabbing the wind, cutting my skin, but it's hard because I, I'm falling. Tell me why I'm falling Oh, life's calling But it's hard because I'm falling Falling, 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 falling Falling, falling, falling 
I went down to the lake, you have to take off your shoes as it is a sacred site. They don't want you to film too much while you're down there. Coming back though, there are these little narrow um, passageways where you walk alongside the water. And I was going on one of them past a baby cow. Then the mother cow came running over. She was really big. She knocked her horns into me. I think I'm gonna have bruises on my stomach and I almost fell into the water. I was certain I was gonna fall into the water, but thankfully I didn't and uh, I escaped the angry cow. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the cow that attacked me. And that's the calf. <laughs> that's the one that came running toward me with those big horns and attacked me. She was just protecting her calf. Yeah. How is it? Like, no, no, it's Wait. okay. And then, um, hold on a minute, I'll take it. <laughs> After you said, oh, that's so nice of you. Well, we've come back from our successful evening of exploring to find that the electricity in our hotel is out. So it's really hot in the room, but we're just hanging out on the balcony and it's just so peaceful. There's views of mountains and camels going by and peacocks crying in the distance. It's just such an atmosphere about this place. I can't believe we were about to skip it. Livio is watching a movie in the dark. <laughs> a horror movie. Great, Livio. Great choice. <laughs> oh my god, this is so creepy. Now, the reason that these little floods are happening, occasionally resulting in power outages, is because Livio and I did go to India in the monsoon season. This is in July. So yes, we knew that it was the monsoon season. There are some pluses to going to India in the monsoon season, mainly that there are not going to be as many tourists around. So we had a lot of places all to ourselves that normally would have been pretty crowded. Also though, it is worth noting that monsoon season is renowned as the hottest and most humid time of year and it really was very hot, so something to keep in mind. We are just walking around Pushkar right now and it is so cool here. It's, um, there, there's a temple and everybody is going and buying flowers to bring to the temple and everybody is just so nice here. It doesn't feel like that huge crowded city so much. These cows are everywhere. This one is just in the middle of the road, as many of them are. So let's talk just a little bit about cows in India. I was really excited about this. They really are everywhere, and it was definitely something that I had never seen before anywhere else before I came to India. In Hinduism, the cow is revered as sacred and a symbol of life. A frequent misconception is that cows are considered to be gods and are worshipped. Not true, cows are considered sacred, which is different from being an actual god. There are quite a few festivals in India honoring cows and they're often dressed up in flowers and just basically given this whole big party. <laughs> now something that I was wondering about when I was in India was, is it okay to touch or pet the cows? Which I wanted to do, but you know, I didn't want to be disrespectful or anything. <laughs> you should pet her. 
<laughs> Turns out, yes, it is okay to touch or pet the cows. Just don't hurt them or do anything negative towards them. India is a very diverse place and with a population of over 1.3 billion people, not everyone is going to have the same beliefs. Not all of India is Hindu, so not all people think this way about cows. Actually, it is a subject of a lot of controversy in India today, uh, but that's not what this video is about, so back to Pushkar. She did not go into any shops so far for a week we've been here. She couldn't resist journals. Something interesting about Pushkar is because it's a sacred city, it is forbidden here to eat meat or eggs. So they don't kill chickens or take their eggs anywhere inside the town. There are certain restaurants where you can get that, but um, just to respect the city, I'm not eating meat or eggs while I'm here. day in Pushkar. We are getting ready to leave right now and this town honestly has kind of a reputation of selling drugs and having a illegal drug trade going on here. There are like signs and restaurants offering uh, magic such and such, whatever it may be, but I hadn't seen anything more than that so I thought it might be exaggerated. On our last day we're getting ready to leave and this guy came and offered us drugs and we <laughs> We said, uh, no, no thank you, we're, we're getting ready to leave, or whatever, excuse. And then he says, oh, that's no problem, you can take them to go, like we offer them to go. <laughs> Offering drugs and to-go boxes. Uh, yeah, we just said, no thank you. Um, it was only that one incident. Other than that, I didn't really see that that was here, but, you know, I guess it's just where you look. Um, but yeah, interesting way to end our trip in Pushkar, and I really loved it here. This town has such a vibe about it. Going to the water this morning and seeing all the people praying and making offerings and throwing flowers in the water, um, it was just really special, and uh, except for the part where the cow attacked me and almost pushed me into the water, um, yeah. <laughs> also guys, I do just have to give a shout out to Jdeep Mishra for providing the awesome drone shots in this video for you guys. Uh, yeah, I carried my drone all over India with me and sadly, I was not able to use it, but thankfully Jdeep was. Go check out his channel, I will link it below. And actually I will also link his push car video because Wow, I watched it and I was actually like, oh no, I wish I got such beautiful shots in Pushkar. But uh, yeah, thanks to JD for drone shot views. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed my adventures here and see you in India next time. Bye!